all right so i have been looking forward to today all week all month two super exciting things that are happening today i am currently on my way to marlo's little checkup appointment i am 33 weeks so this is the last appointment we're gonna have before we start going every two weeks until she's here super exciting i don't know what's on the agenda for this appointment i guess we'll find out but so excited to see how she's doing i've been getting like a lot of braxton hicks this week and i keep telling frankie i'm like i am totally getting contractions like my whole entire stomach and honestly back have been like tightening up all at the same time and it's been super honestly like painful and uncomfortable i'm definitely going to bring that up to them my heartburn has also been so so bad to the point where like i can't even sleep i'm going to bring that up to them too because i'm pretty sure that they have like some sort of medicine that i can take for it and i'm at the point where i am absolutely going to need that to get me through the rest of this pregnancy and then after that we're probably gonna grab some lunch then we are going to head to get my hair done i am so long overdue to get it done like it's so grown out i'm wanting to try something new today and i'm really hoping that we can accomplish it stay tuned i can't wait to take you along with me on my little hair day yeah like i mentioned i think a couple videos ago that my baby shower got rescheduled basically we got a bunch of snow randomly last weekend and that made my baby shower get rescheduled and my hair appointment get rescheduled i've been looking forward to it all week so yes i'll stop rambling and i will see you in the next little part about dad Nothing. he's going golfing on this lovely friday afternoon and marla's already cutting into his schedule can't wait isn't she yeah no not <laughs> at all Thank you. okay so appointment went really good baby girl is right on track I am currently 139 pounds, so that was kind of fun. They said I'm also right on track with how much I'm gaining, and they got me a prescription for my heartburn, so super excited about that. I had to take a work call as soon as I walked out and had to stop at a Starbucks to get on my laptop to send a couple emails. I had to share with you guys, uh, one of my coworkers put me on this week when she brought this for me uh, at work. She surprised me, and it is a venti ice brown sugar shaken okay wait i totally butchered that venti iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso add vanilla sweet cream cold foam seriously so so good and i am starving i am about to go pick up my chick-fil-a order and then we're going to the salon so i will see you here when i pick up my food and chow down So we just pulled in at the hair salon. I have honestly like 30 minutes until my appointment. I kind of just like really want to sit here and enjoy my food. So that was the first time ever that I've ever ordered Chick-fil-A on my app. And I literally pulled in and they came right out. It's still like blazing hot. So you'll bet I'll be doing that again. That honestly was so convenient. Because usually I'm like last minute going and I'm like, I'll just go through the drive-thru. I was prepared today. So my order is a the spicy deluxe with pepper jack cheese meal with fries with three Chick-fil-A sauces and one honey mustard and a Dr. Pepper. That's what mama wants today. So that's what mama's getting and baby girl. So I'm just gonna chow down on this. She's so pretty, look. Looky, looky, looky. I'm so ready for this. I want some fries though first. I'm also going to be way too caffeinated. I have a venti iced coffee and a Dr. Pepper now, so probably not the best case scenario, but it's Friday, so that's what I'm just going to keep telling myself. I deserve it. We deserve it. We made it through another week. Not only of work and chaos, but of growing a child. To that, we say cheers. Usually, unpopular opinion. 
I'm not the biggest fan of Chick-fil-A. Like I don't have to have it all the time. It's usually like once in a blue moon, I'm like, let's get some Chick-fil-A. Since I've been in the third trimester, I kid you not, I have been craving Chick-fil-A so much. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. So I'm excited. As you guys know, I'm not super into the TikTok world, but mama's out here making moves and she's trying to learn. My coworker, she's like my desk buddy. And she's like up on all the trends, keeping me in the loop of what's trending, trying to get my confidence in TikTok and how to make videos and stuff. And it literally makes me feel like a grandma because I'm like, uh, how do I do this? But anyways, today with my hair, hoping that all goes well, I'm trying to make one of those go to the salon TikToks with the hair transformation. So we shall see how it turns out. If you guys want to give me some love and follow along on my TikTok journey of me learning how to do it, then follow me. I'll put the link down below, but I'll also have it right here. And we can be friends. I'll follow you back. I'm the kind of girl that needs to have sauce on every single bite. So that's just what we're gonna do. Big sauce girl. I am finally about to walk in. We are so full at this moment. I just realized I'm filming on my phone and I wanted to show you guys my inspiration pictures of what I'm wanting to get. So I guess I'm just gonna put them on the screen here for you to see what the goal is. And I guess we'll just find out together what it turns out to be. All right, let's go. Okay, so we just got back from the hair salon and it's so much blonder. I am shooting for like icy blonde by summer. So I think we have enough time to get there. Um, I love it. I think it's super cute. I just got the mail from the mailbox whenever I got home and there's quite a bit of some unpackaging that we can do. So I figured I would just do that with you guys. So let's do it. Y'all literally just opened all of this and thought that I pressed record and I didn't. Good news is I already opened it. Uh, so yay for that, right Theo? And you get to hear me talk about these things again, huh? First thing that I opened was a package that Wooden Ship sent me. It's these Cutie Pie sweaters. And I've worked with them before actually, like a couple years ago, whenever I was in college. They sent me like the cutest sweaters and I love them and I still have some of them to this day. Anyways, they're doing a St. Patty's Day in an Easter um, collection. I picked this cutie pie, sorry Theo, for St. Patrick's Day because how cute is it? I cannot wait to style it. You can wear this so many different ways, dress it up, dress it down. Love that. And then here's the Easter one that I picked out. It says choose happy. I just love this for the springtime because it is perfect for like whenever it's chilly outside. I just think it's super cute and you can also use it like in the summer as a cover up. How cute would that be? They have the cutest sweaters and they have a lot more to choose from. So definitely check them out. Shout out to Wooden Ships. Thank you for sending me these. And the next thing that I got actually wasn't for me but was for baby girl. It is Matchstick Monkey. They sent me these super cute little teething toys for her. Um, so like here's their uh, monkey that is like basically what they're known for. It has like his arms and everything are really easy for like babies to hold on to. Also has like different textures on him so like it really like gets in their gums and like just really helps them when they're teething. And also sent this one which you can like attach to her little like pacifier um, clip. I'm pretty sure you can put this one in the freezer too. It like kind of like soothes her gums if she's like gnawing on it, you know, at the same time. So anyways, shout out to them. Thank you so much for sending this to Marlo. I'm sure she's gonna love it. Can't wait to try that out. They're so stinking cute. Next, I don't know if you guys have heard of a company called Touchland. They are like the cutest place to go if you're looking for hand sanitizers. For me, this one doesn't like squirt out of a bottle, which honestly, I love like Bath and Body Works and like 
all of those things but i don't love whenever i squirt too much on my hand it's just like goopy and my hands are wet and it's just gross to me i do not like it that's one thing but secondly like these smell so good how cool are these and they have all these different scents I got the Velvet Peach, Vanilla Blossom, and Blue Sandalwood. The best thing that I like about these is it's a spray. So it's like a power mist is what they call it. Just like spray it on your hand and rub it in. You're never going to have too much or too little. It also moisturizes while you use it. So it's honestly like perfect timing to get this because I'm getting like my diaper bag ready and everything. Also selected this for them to send me which is so perfect. So it's just this little pouch. You can put your little hand sanitizer in there. And then it has this little hook on the back where you can either, you can put it on your purse. Like for me, I'm gonna put it on my diaper back. If you're changing a diaper and you just need a quick little spritz, it's gonna be perfect. I thought that was a really great idea. And I've seen so many of my friends and also just like people I follow on Instagram start switching over to Touchland. So anyways, thank you Touchland for sending this to me. And then next were a few baby gifts that we got in the mail. So my aunt and cousins sent me a couple things. So they sent Marlo these cute little touch and feel books. So super cute. Also got a little farm one. And then of course, traditional good night moon. And then they also got me these super cute little snacky guys. So the brand Mushy is so stinking cute. I think I originally like whenever I was starting to do my registry, you know, you start learning about all these different baby brands. I was just so drawn to their style. Like this is just totally up my alley. This will work if we have another baby eventually one day and it's a boy. It's all like very gender neutral and I love that. This is like a little snack cup. Like when she's older, she can like hold this and like grab snacks out of it. The thing that I love is like for dry snacks, if she like drops this or it falls or something, the food, this like little, I don't know what you call this, but it just makes sure like food doesn't come out of it if she like drops it or something. So I thought that was super cool. And these cute little spoons, love that. And lastly, this um, plate, which actually like suctions to whatever surface she's like flat surface she's eating on. So like a table or the coffee table or her high chair, it suctions so she can't like scoot it around or push it away or anything like that. It also can go in the microwave, oven, and dishwasher. It sounds pretty amazing to me and it's super cute. So yay for that. And then I'm pretty positive my sister sent this to me, a breast pump kit for Medela breast pumps. It's just like a bunch of replacement parts. That's awesome. It's for the one that I know she got me. So I'm assuming that she sent me these ahead of time, which is super nice. So thank you, Brittany. Frankie's on his way home. I think he's picking me up a quesadilla from one of our favorite places called Con Quesos. It is so stinking good. It's kind of like one of those days where you just like don't have any rules for yourself and it's it's okay. But anyways, I want to open up her travel system or at least attempt to. So let's do that. Hey guys, so definitely did not get around to doing the travel system. Once Frankie got here with the food, it was the end of the night for me. I ate my food and just did not have the energy to do it. So I will do that in another video. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you guys soon.